Okay, so we just arrived up here on top of the hill above the dam at Klongbode Lake. It's just such a big area up here. You can rent, uh, they have golf carts over there for rent. So just on top, navigating everything you might like to see, you can go clear across the dam on a golf cart. That's why this is such a, a popular tourist spot to come visit. I mean, you get to rent a golf cart and have a little privacy, just you and who's ever with you. You know, you don't need a guide or anything. And they also have boat rides down on the lake. It's just a beautiful, beautiful area. Again, this is Nakona Yoke. This, uh, it would be at the south end of Khao Yai. You're not in Khao Yai National Park yet. This is a public lake, public dam. So you're not, not in the park yet, but you're looking at it like all those mountains in the background there. And like I say, it's really hazy today. But uh, that's all Khao Yai when you, get, when you keep going up in those hills. But they just keep this place, and they're always changing it and updating it. It's changed since the last time we were here and was only a couple of months ago. They've changed everything. So my wife took off down this high pathway going to the temple. So I'll meet up with her in just a second, but you can, there's another on top area, road over there. So there's another layer up there you can go see. Uh, I'm gonna go down to the lowest level, which is right overlooking the dam. Uh, so this is a weekday, what is today? Wednesday. So that's when we like to come. There's hardly anybody here. On the weekends, this place is packed. There's vendors that clear out in this parking lot. There's a lot more things going on. So we prefer to come through the week. But that way they keep it manicured. Okay, and I don't remember exactly what year this dam was built. We'll find out. I think it's on a sign up here. So we'll get that information. Not that old. I think maybe 15, 20 years old is all. Not, not too old. But they created a real nice tourist destination when they built the dam you know it's really dedicated to his late great majesty Paul Fumiporn King Rama 9 um, you know it was his project and he was that kind of guy man he was very highly educated spoke five languages was into engineering development for the country king for 70 years so he had many many royal projects so it doesn't have to be funded by government tax dollars. It's actually funded out of the royalty. I mean, it's one of the richest monarchies in the world. So he would do things to improve the country for the benefit of the Thai people. And this is one of them. This is the dam at Klong Bode Lake. And normally down below the steps here, uh, you have a lot of vendors scattered around on the weekends you know there's kind of a coffee shop over there and a beautiful fountain here and this is the road you would take if you rented a, a uh, one of those golf carts I think they're electric golf carts they may be diesel or natural gas I think they're natural gas yeah but anyway pretty pretty easy to drive automatic you just rent one I think 300 baht something nine bucks drive out across the dam we've never done that we've never actually taken a uh, golf cart yet like I say this is a weekday so you know and it's uh, morning so this afternoon there will be more vendors more food for sale and stuff on the weekends it's just full of vendors for food it doesn't have like a market like a night market or anything you see the lake is extremely low. This is its lowest point. Very end of dry season. This thing will be so full that it's letting all four floodgates out. And like I say, it's high pressure, man. You standing up above looking down, it's so powerful. Hello. Hello, how are you? Sawadika. Sawadi, Sawadi, Sawadi. Sawadi, Mai. Sawadi, Mai. Shake hands, yes sir. Nice to meet you. Put put pasangret. Nice to meet you. Yindi tidai. Yindi tidai. Nice. Yeah. Good. Love Thai people.
Palm Rock, Thailand. Let me say this, this lowest level where the golf cart road's at, and, uh, and it's really kind of deceiving today because there's not vendors. I mean, normally you can get your belly full just walking around down here. They'll have vendors scattered around, but on weekdays, you know, they're not planning on a tourist crowd from Bangkok or buses coming in, so it's just kind of the local thing. And then you don't have that kind of stuff. I'm sure there's places to buy bottled water and stuff like that. But anyway, just love how they have really made it into a botanical garden area, right? Right with the lake view. So many different flowers, so well maintained. And if you see this gentleman over here, see what he's wearing there. Thai people know how to stay out of the sun, you know what I'm saying? They wrap their whole head and neck. And that's the way the things are taken care of here. You won't hear uh, power trimmers and stuff. Now you're hearing some power noise in the background, but they got construction going on over there at the dam side. So, But here in the garden area, they trim everything by hand. That's just the Thai way of doing things. You know? This lady here, see how she's dressed? Guarantee you, she's been doing this kind of work probably her entire life. Right there. Sawadee cop. You got the family that just passed me and the boy that wanted to shake my hand. And so here's the, the name.